Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Jimmy here. It's been a while since we collabed and made a video together. <sighs> Today is a Friday and it is pretty decent outside. What do you think? The weather's pretty nice. Man, it's nice when it wants to be. Yeah, Oklahoma. But today we went to the place that's just opened up at the Tulsa Hills. Five below. We got a couple bags. We got one bag here we gotta show you, and we got a mystery item that I'm looking forward to showing you guys what we got. It's Daredevil related. So now these are for Melanie. Well, I have a couple things here. Um, now everything at five below is actually ten dollars and below. There's the, they have the ten dollar also price, but everything's mostly five bucks. So well, here's your drink, babe. <laughs> it's still kind of cold. I can feel it. Here's your apple juice. But uh, okay, so we got apple juice. All right. First, okay. First things first. We are trying to lose weight. I've already been losing weight for about six years. I already lost 160 pounds. She's wanting to lose more weight. So we decided to go to the gym. So, there you go. This is one item we got. Go ahead and tell them what it is, babe. Sports bra. Sports bra. And um, it's a. No size. No, Series 8 Fitness Sports Bra. I don't know if that's a good brand. Um, it was something that we saw there that was a good price. This is also another Series 8. This is a shirt that we got her. Tuckles, tuckles, tuckles. That's actually really cool. And the material of it is actually quite breathable. So you can sweat in this and it would dry out even easily. Easily. So there's no, there's that. And we've got this. Some yoga pants. Now these are kind of cool because you actually can see my hand in them and you can breathe and they're at the knees and their ankles. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But you go, what do you think about these? You like these you like these? Yeah. And those are actually another series series eight fitness. It's very stretchy. So that's pretty cool. Alright, now you do the honors for the last shirt. This is not uh, workout related, this is just a shirt that she wanted to get. Yes. Ah, real monsters. Now, comment down below if you know what this show is. Because this was my childhood. All real monsters with my... There's Igis. There's, um... Well, there's, um... Uh, God, I can't remember his name. Igis. Then there's Clump, I think his name is. And then, um... I can't remember her name. <laughs> I used to know all the guys' names. But they, that's... This is all real monsters. And it says, um... Keeping my eyes on you. That's awesome. I like that, babe. That's super cool. It, it's pretty big, too. And so she can, like, have more, you know, breathable room. So that's pretty cool. Five bucks. Okay. So, and all in all, that cost... That only cost, um... $23.69 with the drink and everything else. The drink was $2.00. So if we just got the, sh the clothes, it would have been like 20 bucks, $21. That's not bad. All right, now, this is the mystery item, okay? Boom. Mystery gift bag, Daredevil, $14.99. Yeah, they had this one. They had three um, Gardens of Galaxies. I want to get this last one. So. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open it up, babe. And you reach your hand in there. Now, they have these staples and stuff, so let me try to pull these staples out. I don't want you to get your hands all cut. Because, I, oh yeah, by the way, this came up to, this came up to 16, 16 something. Not very, not that expensive. Bear with me, guys. Alright, here we go. Now, First thing, sorry. First thing first. I have more staples. Don't hit your arm right there. Okay. Ooh, I see some stuff in there. It's really cool. Pull the first item you see of Bill. All right. What size is it? Extra large. Oh, sweet. It will fit you. Okay. 
You gotta show the front of the camera. There you go. So t shirt. It is says Nick Nil Nil Nilsen and Mord Mordick? Mordrock? How do you pronounce that? How do you, how do you say that word? Nilsen Nelson and Mur Murdoch. Murdoch. Attorneys at Law. Hell's Kitchen. New York. New York. Oh my god, that's actually the um that's the uh, lawyer. Um that's still Daredevil's um ultra ego persona of himself um as a lawyer. So that's pretty cool. That's actually really cool, and the quality is really good, babe. It's a good quality. So, yep. Gildan. Gildan is a great brand. I like Gildan. Gildan makes good shirts. So there you go, babe. Get your shirt. I can't fit it, but uh, all right. Not yet. I'm down to a two X, and my two Xs are getting kind of loose. Right, what is this one? I feel a book. I feel a book. Ooh. Marvel Legends, Daredevil, The Man Without Fear, Frank Miller, John. John Romita. Romita Jr. Boom, five dollars. That is, ooh, it's a comic book. Ooh, it's all colored. That's nice. That is nice. All right, here's the comic book, guys. It's uh. It's full color comic book. That is five bucks. That's cool. So this shirt is easily about fifteen, twenty dollars. That shirt alone pays for the whole bag. So that book is awesome. Okay. Yeah. Don't look. Got one? Okay. We got two combos. Okay, let's do one at a time. <laughs> so we got okay, you got Daredevil, two dollars. The black and the black and red one, which is a nice one. It's kind of a newer version. Issue number twenty-three. Digital connect. Digital content. So it's a bonus. Digital content. That's the one, right there. It is a three-dollar comic book. Nice looking cover. It's a good looking cover. And then we have a Mayor Fisk, Daredevil X. Um, five ninety eight, three dollar comic book, another digital content bonus. So there's that one. So we got two there. So both three dollars. So that's so that's three six. That would be twelve dollars right there. Plus that, that would be thirty thirty three dollars. Damn, thirty three dollars so far. And I actually saw this one, but it's okay, I'll bring it out. It's one comic book. Another uh, Mayor Fisk Legendary Daredevil. It's the uh, $5.99. This is $5.98. So there's the first one and there's the second one right there. So there's those. Those are cool. Another $3. So uh, go ahead and get your phone out, baby. We're going to add this up. This is what we're going to add up all the. Uh, prices of each comic book plus the shirt plus the book and see how much value that we got for 15 bucks. Go ahead and uh, hold, the, hold the phone for you. Go ahead and get another, another comic book out of there. Now we gotta grab two again. That's okay. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab the last the last two. Okay, here we go. You go ahead and go show yours first, babe. Okay. Oh it's actually the real one. It's a vintage style. Sweet. So it's a uh, 30th anniversary, 1962 to 1992. 1992. 1992. Amazing. Spider-Man. No, you think it's the Daredevil, the man with no fear. Um, that right there. Yeah, that's the number you got to read off. Uh, 306 July. Yeah. Catch with the camera. This, this is another $3. Uh, no, uh, yeah, there you go, baby. Good job. So what she does, and she doesn't know much about comic books yet. I'm trying to teach her a little bit. But what we do is when you read off the comic books, you read off the name and read off the number. So if a person is watching a video, they want to know what the comic book is and look it up themselves. That's what they have to tell. So that's cool. Oh, you got three more. Um, Two more. We have another one's called uh, Daredevil Dark Knights. And number seven. Number seven. It's a pretty good cover. So there's that. So there's that one. 
that one's really cool. I like that one. That's a really cool one. Okay. And what's the last one? And then another Daredevil Dark Knights number, number eight. eight. And yeah, that's really cool, babe. So this is so it goes like this. So if we're gonna find if we got to collect this series, we gotta get number one through six, and then whatever after the eight because you don't know how many they're gonna have. So that's all new. This is newer, newer Daredevil. Okay, guys. So so far we got some new Daredevils. We got one old Daredevil. I'm a big fan of the old school Daredevil. The way they they just look how vintage that is. Look how awesome they draw that. But uh, okay. And here I got last two right here. One, two, three. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> there it is. So it is a Daredevil Men with fe without fear. It is an older model. It's Dead Man's Dead Man's ha hung hand? hand hand Dead Man's, Dead man's hand, hand. three oh seven. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. That's a nice cover. All right, and then we have another vintage old school Daredevil, Daredevil Man Without Fear, three two eighty six. I thought it said Man Without Mercy. No, Man Without Fear. Oh, Mercy, Man Without Mercy. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Ooh, I don't have a Man Without Mercy. Good job, babe. Yeah, Man Without Mercy. I haven't seen a Man Without Mercy in forever. I've always seen a Man Without Fear. But that is cool. Two eighty six November. That's a really cool one, guys. That one's really awesome. Boom. Okay, so we'll go ahead and out of these, um, we've got so we've spent for all this. We got a shirt. Let's say twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for a shirt. It doesn't have price, but I mean for the uh, the quality of the shirt and the the print. That's yeah, probably easy. About twenty dollars. Yeah, twenty dollars. Okay, and then this book, five dollars plus five. All right. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. So what we actually need to do is to clear this off. They clear this and go three dollars times eight. Three times eight. Forty-nine dollars just in the comic books, plus twenty dollars, plus five dollars. So about seventy, 74. seventy-four bucks right there. Boom. So seventy-four dollars. So taxes and everything about seventy-six. So seventy-six dollars for what we spent sixteen dollars on. That was great. That was great. So we've actually saved about 60 bucks. All right, guys. Well, this is what uh, we got from Vintage Stock. Um, if you guys ever decide to go to Vintage Stock, and um, well, that's Uncle Buck. <laughs> I also got Uncle Buck. But um, so yeah, if you guys ever decide to go to Vintage Stock and you see these mystery bags, like this and you actually wondering if it's worth the value of the uh, you know how much it is $14.99 if you think it's worth it um, want to know if it's worth it I say it is worth it because I mean I haven't bought comic books in forever and that's a lot of comic books six six of eight of them eight of them eight comic books plus a book it has comics so that's a good thing but uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, I hope you liked the video. Um, comment down below who is your favorite. Push ha hashtag. Oh my god, hashtag. Uh, but put. But what is your favorite uh, combo hero or villain? And also, are you a DC or Marvel fan? I am a Marvel fan. Obviously, Spider-Man and Captain America right there. You guys see it in my videos a lot, so you know I'm a Marvel fan. What about you, Bill? Are you a Marvel or DC? Um, probably more Marvel than DC, but yeah. I like DC because of, like, Harley Quinn, so. Obviously, yeah, yeah. Big time Harley Quinn. 
fan. Love her. She's awesome. But so, and your Marvel experience of M MCU. What is your favorite MCU movie? I really like all of them, so I really don't necessarily have a favorite. So you're not biased about any of them? Me, personally, I'm always going to be with my main man, Spider-Man. He's my favorite. He's on my all-time favorite. Uh, the new actor who plays Spider-Man, what's his name, babe? Tom Harlan? Tom, Tom, yeah, Tom Holland. Tom Harlan. Holland, Holland. I can't even pronounce his name, but he he's actually the right age for Spider-Man. Because every time they cash another person to sp play Spider-Man, they're always in their 20s. Yeah, my opinion, uh, Tobey Maguire did, he was alright, but... He's kind of a wuss. He yeah, kinda... he, excuse my language, but he's a pussy. He was! Tobey Maguire was a pussy! And then the other guy who uh, played... Andrew Garfield. He's yeah. a dick. Yeah, he's a big time dick, and I don't like him very much. He was too skinny. On my, my personal opinion, he was too skinny to play Spider-Man. Spider-Man, he's more buff and more like athletic than just scrawny looking, you know? So it didn't really suit him. That's why they only made two movies. Then we made Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, and Amazing, Amazing Spider-Man 2. But um, yeah, I mean, I could make a whole new video, but just Spider-Man. But yeah, my favorite is Spider-Man, and my second favorite is Wolverine. I love Wolverine. Um, if they keep making Wolverine, which I heard they are going to keep putting Wolverine in some X-Men movies. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Um, Hugh Jackman is coming back in some X-Men movies because they're going to do that whole thing about him coming to his, from his childhood, you know, younger age and everything. and going to be going in more movies. So they're going to be like doing prequels and everything else, which sometimes it's good and sometimes it's just like, oh, just get over with it. You know? But... Well, at least they're sticking with the same actor. I'd be pissed if they switched the actor. Yeah, if they if they didn't get Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, I won't watch him. I, I will watch I, it. Hugh, Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. I'm sorry. If you disagree with me, I'm sorry. Hugh Jackman, you are Wolverine. Like, uh, for example, um, well, Chucky. Brad Duff. Brad Duff is Chucky. And also, Robert England. Yeah, Robert England, obviously, he's Freddy Krueger. Yeah. He's Freddy Krueger. He is Freddy Krueger. He, he invented him. He came up as a character. I mean, he, when Robert England dies, it's going to be a sad day in horror movie history. Same thing with Wes, with Wes Craven. I mean, he died. When Wes Craven died, it was sad. It was the same thing with Stan Lee, you know? Comic book, comic book hero, comic book legend. Created all the MC and all the Marvel stuff, you know? But yeah. Okay, guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. Please try to subscribe to Melanie's. What is your channel, babe? Uh, it's just Melanie Faye Simpson. Um, M-E-L-A-N-I-E. -E, and then F-A-Y-E. And then, of course, my last name is in there. It's S-I-M-P-S-O-N. All in one word. All, so, all together. YouTube slash Melanie Faye Simpson. And she does a great, a great cover songs. And she's also made a couple of uh, vlogs. And uh, we're trying to promote her uh, her channel. Um, this is my fiance, by the way. If you guys are new to my channel, this is my girl, wife to be. So um, yeah, this is. Uh, I said I've been on this channel for a while, and I'm just trying to help her out and get her notice. Love you. Love you. All right, guys. Is it uh, like? I hope you liked the video. Um, visit your um, stay stay local. You know, be visit your local stores. Don't go corporate. And don't go mainstream stuff. Okay. If you find a local store around your neighborhood, visit them. You know, do something with your community. You know, and also practice safe distancing. Okay, because we've gotten some more people. You know, and we found out that there's more people in Manford, Oklahoma, that got sick from the Corona 19 bullshit. And we have masks and we kind of keep our distance, but yeah. All right, guys, that's it for me. I hope you have a great week. Bye.